guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my long-awaited Black Friday haul. I feel like this took forever to get up because one of my orders got lost in the mail. Rude. And I'm hoping I'm in focus, but the lights are so blinding that like I can't really see, so... That's cool. But today, as the title says, this is my Black Friday slash Cyber Monday haul. It's pretty even, actually. I ordered like half on Black Friday, half on Cyber Monday. They got good deals on both days. That's how they get you. So today's video is actually sponsored by Ebates. You guys know I love Ebates. I love Ebates. Let me just, let me look at my app and tell you how much money I've made this year. I only started using it at the end the beginning of this year, so I'm still in my first year, but my lifetime cash back is $669.60. 69, yo. But that's how much money I've made literally just back, like free money that like, I, what? I'm getting ahead of myself. If you don't know what Ebates is, it's a website that basically you shop through and you earn cash back. All these different stores partner with Ebates to offer you a percentage of money, your own money, back. So basically all you do is install it into your browser and every time you go on a website that's supported by Ebates, it'll ask, hey, would you like to activate this 2% cash back? And I've gotten into the habit of always just in case I buy something and like I don't wanna forget, I always activate even if I'm not like gonna buy anything. <laughs> I trained to browse it too, it's like you always click activate. But it's as easy as that. You place your order as normal through the normal website, the money goes into your Ebates account and they send you a check four times a year. So seasonally, I just got my last check in November. It was $200, no, $240. And today, as part of celebrating the first day of the 12 days of Christmas, Ebates is offering 12% cash back at over 200 stores just to celebrate the 12 days of Christmas. So I will have some of the stores that you might be interested, you know, if you like my channel, all that linked down below so you can check it out. And I ended up getting some great deals back on Cyber Monday because of Ebates. I believe Ulta and Sephora were offering 10% cash back, which like, is a big one, so I was pumped about that. I also have a referral code, and if you use mine and you're a new customer, you will get $10 off your first order of $25 or more. Pretty bitchin'. So yeah, you guys know, sponsored or not, I love Ebates. I use it every time I online, online, every time I online shop, and that's kind of a lot, especially right now during the holidays. I wanted to do a partnership with them because it's a great time to get cash back. Because I don't know about you, but I do most of my Christmas shopping online because I'm sending my family's gifts to North Carolina, so it just makes sense to shop online anyway. And it just is a great wonderful thing that everybody needs to be using because it's completely free. There's no catch, and you're getting money back on things you're probably already gonna buy anyway. You know what I mean? So I love Ebates, you guys get the gist. I'll have all the info down below. So let's start with Black Friday because that's how things went. Black Friday, I got, okay. So I placed two Ulta hauls orders and on Black Friday, I only got one thing from Ulta and this is kind of funny. I did an Ulta haul I don't know when, sometime. I'll link it up in the corner. I was all pumped and jazzed because I got this new Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze bronzing powder. It's not new, it's just new to me. But then I opened it and my dumb ass grabbed the invisible highlight instead of the bronze. And I don't need any more highlighters in my life. Well, <laughs> that's funny as I literally bought three. But so I bought the wrong one and I was like, no, I don't want this. So I, re I was gonna return it. And I don't know why, but I didn't even swap it out. I just returned it. It was like the day before I left for um, Thanksgiving break with my family. I don't know why I call it Thanksgiving break like I'm still at school. My Thanksgiving trip back to North Carolina, I was it was the day before that we were running pre-travel errands. I just ran into Ulta, returned it. I was like, I don't have time to deal with this. And I'm happy I didn't because I ended up saving money on it, which was amazing. So I believe this was half off, which made it $14. Great, about the price of like a drugstore bronzer, which I'll get into in a minute. <laughs> but so here is what it looks like. It is the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze Fair to Light. Um, and it looks really, really light, which I'm kind of really into. I have to be careful with bronzers and my freckles because I can look muddy super easily. I bought this because of Jessica Braun's recommendation and she says it kind of looks like nothing is going on, but it just gives you the most beautiful like bronzy finish. You could barely see that on my skin, but in the winter when like I don't have a tan, my Hawaii tan faded so quickly. I went to get a wax and my wax and it was like, you do not look like you came back from Hawaii. And I was like, okay. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm super excited to try this. And I should say, this is like a proper haul as far as like the new things go. Actually, most of the stuff is new, but three of them are like replenishes staples that I needed in my life. Um, but I haven't even swatched this because I wanted it to be a true blue haul. So love it. Can't wait to try it. I'll let you know 
immediately. Well, not immediately. I'll let you know soon. Why am I putting it back in the box? It's here to stay. And then I kind of went for it on the Kylie Cosmetics website. We were at the movies. We went to see uh, Ralph Breaks the Internet. I thought it was terrible, you guys. I really thought it was bad. And like, Wreck-It Ralph is like one of my favorites. I'd probably say in my top 10. Like, I love Wreck-It Ralph. And maybe that's why I didn't like it as much, but like, I gotta tell you, I'm just not into the sequels. Let's make new things, you know? Except for Toy Story 2. I loved Toy Story 2. But anyway, we were at the movies. And my sister was like, hey, Kylie Cosmetics is having a bang and sale. I just placed an order. And I was like, oh, I love their highlighters. And I get so, so many comments every video. What highlighter are you wearing? Pretty much always this year, my Kylie Cosmetics highlighter in cotton candy cream. I'm wearing it today. I love it so much. I love it. So I wanted to take this opportunity to try three more. <laughs> um, I was only going to get two, but then they had a deal. If you spend a certain amount, you get free shipping and their shipping is $10 anyway, which I think is ridiculous. I have an online store. I have a business. I know how much it costs to ship things and like $10 for shipping for one of these is absolutely absurd, but whatever. So I was like, let me just get another highlighter because it was like ended up being five dollars more so these were 30 percent off i believe these were thir 15 dollars each they were on sale i was gonna buy another one of my cotton candy cream but it was sold out and i also wanted to try the salted caramel one because that's kylie's favorite and that one was sold out as well um so these are the ones i got this one we'll get to it's too dark for me but i just like the color i'm gonna try it as an eyeshadow but the first one i got is french vanilla and the packaging on these is really nice they're kind of like sturdier cardboard and then you have the really pretty um, dipped, it looks like it's dripping, I don't know. And I will say, when I first got this highlighter, like whenever I got it last year, I swatched it like with my finger and it didn't, it hardly did anything. And I was like, oh no, I've just wasted all my money. But then I put it on my face and it just, like a swatch isn't everything guys. Don't forget that. A swatch is not everything. Um, but this is a really pretty kind of like golden highlight. I would say champagne. Yeah, champagne, I guess, but maybe a little more golden, but it's really pretty. I'm hoping you can see that. Okay. The next one was recommended to me by my sister. This is the strawberry shortcake one. And I wouldn't normally wear this as a highlight, but I might try this as like a blush topper. I've been enjoying doing that lately. Um, so it's kind of the same thing with the pink. Yeah. Like this one doesn't show up at all in a swatch, but it's not as pink as I would want it to. It's kind of like frosty white pink. Um, so I'm excited to try that. That might be fun in the winter. And I love that the packages of like the cardboard themselves is kind of along the same color lines of what the product is because that makes it easier. If they were all the same shade and I had like four of them now, I'd be like, uh, what? And then the last one I got, which is too dark for me as a highlight, this is the um, chocolate cherry. This might be a nice like just all over blush color. Oh, it's really pretty. Oh yeah, this is like my favorite kind of eyeshadow shade as well. So I just wanted to try it. I don't know. It's right there. So yeah, that's my three new highlighters. <laughs> I know I didn't need these, but like I love my highlighter so much that I just needed to try more. Okay, and then that was it for Black Friday, except for some Yankee candles. I did order some Christmas Eve and cookie, Chris, Christmas cookie <laughs> candles. <laughs> Can't speak. So that was it for Black Friday. Then Cyber Monday rolled around and um, they had a deal on my fave Physicians Formula. The entire brand was half off. So I was like, I'm gonna stock up on some crap. So I have hit pan and it's like kind of getting to the near end of its life. So I restocked on my physicians for it. Let me just like talk while I'm being so loud with the packaging. So I got a new one of my butter bronzer. You guys know this is my favorite bronzer of all time. It smells literally incredible. And I just saw on Instagram yesterday that, well, they posted themselves that there is going to be new butter eyeshadow palettes and butter like lipsticks and I'm like yes but then somebody tagged me in a the trend mood Instagram which I used to follow but then I stopped because I was like this is overwhelming but they tagged me that they have a new two new shades of the blush coming out and a new really deep dark cooler tone bronzer which might be good for like contouring for me I don't know I got like one look at the color I'll get to the blush in a minute but you guys know these are my favorite products and I want just so many colors of them so many I even want more of the highlights now I love the highlighter I just didn't love the colors that they came out with anyway I restocked on my favorite bronzer this is the butter bronzer and I get the shade light bronzer they have four shades I believe now almost five I guess um, but I just get the lightest one. And then you may have seen in my Hawaii vlog, well, if you haven't, I will link it up in the corner, but 
There was a death of the family in Hawaii as I was traveling. One of my butter blushes smashed to smithereens. My plum rose blush broke while I was traveling. I must have traveling abroad, but Hawaii is not abroad. <laughs> but it shattered, it broke. It's my favorite blush color of all time. It's a really nice, you can't, why am I trying to swatch? You can't see anything. I'm gonna get makeup all over my white shirt. But this is my favorite everyday, like nude, neutral, yet pink color. I love all the butter blushes. You guys know that. I love every single color. I have them all. Um, but this is probably my favorite for everyday wear. So I was really devastated, obviously, that it broke. I mean, not that devastated because they're cheap and it was half off when I got it. I don't know why I didn't repurchase it beforehand. I think I forgot, but it doesn't matter. Got it for half off. I have it back in my life now. I love these. I've ranted about them several times, but just in case you forgot or you're new here, they are my absolute favorite blush. I don't think I've touched another blush at all this year. I've used one of these every single day because they're gonna stay in place all day and they're not gonna look splotchy. They're gonna go on the way I want them to. I love all of the colors and how they work with my skin tone. They're just my fave, so okay. And then the last thing I like stocked up on, I did get some other, I got some nail polish, but they also weren't part of the sale, so they don't really count, but I'm gonna haul them anyway. Um, I stocked up on my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. I believe they had like a handful of mascaras that were half off, and this was one of them. And it's a pricey mascara. I believe it's $30 on its own, so I got it for half that, obviously. I just said that. <laughs> but this is, well, it's my second favorite mascara. This is my favorite high-end mascara. You guys know I love the CoverGirl Clump Crusher, but I love to layer this on top. I have it on today and my one I have now is like slowly running out on me so you know when I saw it was half off I picked up another one I love the packaging and I got it in brown I have them in both colors but I hardly ever reach for the black so I decided to just buy the brown I just prefer brown mascara on me with my freckles and my hair color and my skin tone I just feel like it works better so brown it is for me and then last but not least I picked up some more of the Essie Gel Couture polishes I love these so much like so much <laughs> as you can see well you can't really see but i have a ton of nail polish but when i am doing my own nails at home which isn't as often but there are times where i'm like ah i need to film a video my nails look like crap or like oh my god i just want to repaint my nails i always reach for a gel couture polish it just is what it is which is silly because i have so many other ones but i just find these easy i'm terrible at painting my no my nails it's like an oxymoron like i love my nails and my nail polish but i'm terrible at doing it myself so i picked up three polishes i believe these were all from the new bridal collection this one i just took off my nails yesterday this was sage you love me it's a really pretty like light green blue color I didn't love this on my skin tone I'm not gonna lie like the formula of it and the color of it is beautiful but I think on me it just didn't quite work so I might be passing this on I wanted to give it a shot I guess <laughs> and then I picked up these two which I haven't tried yet I mentioned this one in my gift guide because I thought it was festive looking this is to have into gold I'm not super into the metallic nail polishes it has to be done right and I this looked like the swatches of this looked like I would like it and I thought it was nice and festive for this time of year it's just a really pretty like rose gold color and then I picked up lace to the altar like race to the altar this one is really pretty it's just very like white shimmery so I feel like this would be a nice at-home manicure I want to buy just a plain white in this formula I love white nail polish I have white on my toes right now and I'm just like oh I love white nail polish so I feel like every time I want to give myself an at-home manicure I could just spring for white because I always love white nail polishes so I'm gonna buy that in the future but those were the nail polishes I picked up. And with that, that is the end of my Black Friday Cyber Monday haul. Woohoo! I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you're enjoying Holiday Me. I forgot to say, happy day whatever of Holiday Me. I've lost count. <laughs> but we're like in the middle of it, I think. I think I'm like coasting. I should be good on the 12 days. If there's like 11 days of Holiday Me, don't kill me. And you know, I don't know about the vlog thing. I just, I can't keep up. I can't do it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go film a oils video right now after this. It's not gonna go up for a while. I'm obviously very chatty, so I'm kinda like, mm, let me keep talking. <laughs> but okay guys, I love you so much. Don't forget to check out Ebates. I will have the link to get the $10 off your first order of $25 or more down below. And just honestly, it's the best. Try it, take my word. But I love you guys. I will also have all of these products linked down below if you wanna check any of them out. I will see you very soon in a new holiday me video. I hope you guys are having a really good, I was gonna say relaxing December, but I don't think anybody has a relaxing December. Is anybody else exhausted? Raise your hand. But I'll see you guys very soon. I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.